He's got four low spinning drivers today to test out with TrackMan. Thomas is going to hit some bombs for us and we're going to compare the numbers. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. We are outside today on the driving range at Les Bullside Golf Course testing out drivers. We have four driver heads with us today, all of them kind of in that low spinning category. We've got the PXG 0811X Proto, Epic Max LS, Ping It G425 LST, and the Titleist TSI 3. So Thomas, you've been fitting customers into these drivers all year. Uh, all kind of really good, low spinning performers. Um, what do you think we're going to see today? Yeah, I mean, the Callaway, the Titleist, and the Ping have been performing extremely well in the fitting bay. Yeah. We've had some viewers that have been asking to get some PXG content on our channel. Well, we're going to throw in the 0811 X Proto. It's also a very low spinning driver. I'm going to expect, hopefully, I can hit some, some high launch and low spin drives and hit some yeah. bombs. Yeah, absolutely. So, golf shaft and shots hitting today, what's the format of the test going to look like? Yeah, so we'll hit probably like five shots with each driver. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the Graphite Design XC6X golf shaft. That's just the shaft that I play. I have the all fit version of that so we can put it in the different club heads and kind of test it 45 inches in length. All right, it's a little chilly today, so not a perfect day to, to hit some bombs, but we're going to see what you can do in, the, in this probably, what, 50 degree weather here. So, um, bombs, you ready to do that? Let's do it. Yeah, it's a little warmer than it's been in the past, but yeah. it's it's still uh, beginning of May here in Minnesota. So hopefully get some bombs, hopefully we can get that club speed up just a little bit more and see how far these drives can go. All right, so Thomas, PXG 0811X Proto, five swings. What did you think about that club head? Well, I did find the middle of the club face every single time, so I'm looking at the, the face, and every spot was right in the middle, so that's always a good sign. I liked it visually looking down at. Uh, it's a little bit more compact than I'm used to seeing for some drivers. You can definitely see that it's designed to spin a little bit less. And I think we did yeah. see that less spin with this particular driver, especially with nine degrees aloft on it. Um, I'm, I've been playing eight degrees in the past and I've been to get my spin and height down a little bit there, but I hit it pretty well. I thought there was one shot in there left the face open mm -hmm. on that didn't go quite as far, but otherwise I hit some pretty good shots. Yeah, I mean, that second shot actually spun over, over 3,000 RPM, just that face a little bit open. You can kind of see on the map here, clearly it's kind of different than the other four shots. but. Other than that, your spin was below 2,000 for three of them, and then you had 2,300 for the other. So it's a low spinning club head. I mean, besides the one kind of, with, that was sort of a years of your error, right? Yeah. Um, other than that, pretty good performer. Yeah, I did like the sound, but it didn't seem like it was super loud. Yeah. There's some drivers out there are kind of very loud off, yeah. off the face. It was kind of maybe more muted, but it was, it was solid. It's just the first time I've actually hit this particular driver, and I was, you know, quietly impressed. We'll see how it stacks up against the other ones. All right, well, let's move on to, uh, we'll do Epic Max LS next. Okay. Yeah, see a ball. That was pretty straight. You are. A little high and spinny there. 113 speed. It's pretty impressive, because that felt like it was a little high and spinny. Yeah. Only spun at 2100, so pretty good. A lot higher for left though. All right, so Thomas, Epic Max LS is in your bag. That's the that's the driver that you're playing in your bag. Yep. Um, and I mean, I we saw some pretty impressive stuff there. Considering I think not all of those that you you didn't think all of those were like you know perfect strikes. Uh, there was a couple that you thought were miss hits or maybe face was open. But looking at the map, looking at the numbers, it's it's a, it's like it it's like they were all hit solid, which is speaks to the forgiveness yet low spin of that driver. It's exactly that. The spin was low. It was like high but low spin, which is what really any golfer's after you want to hit full far. Uh, but there was that one shot, there was that one four five yeah. smash factor where I'm like, oh that face was a little open or I didn't quite catch it perfect. 
it was clearly a little bit right of the other drives but yeah. that spin rate was only like i think it was only like 2200 with the spin and it still carried it was actually under 2000 it was, it was under 2000. 2000 and you so you were thinking that spin was going to go way up yeah say so under 2000 and i mean overall then so we're talking about differences between maybe the pxg 0811 x proto and the epic max ls drop spin by about 2000 rpm that if, because of that distance went up about nine yards both carry and total okay overall so yeah uh, and i was swinging almost a mile an hour faster with this yeah. this drive ahead so that's a it little bit of the like, differences a yeah. little bit of difference but it's not nine yards yeah no it's not yeah and, and that's but the spin more efficient strike and the map to your carry distance is way more consistent as well okay. so another piece to look at there and it's i mean again really good performance on those five shots by the epic max ls all right, we've got two other drivers to try and catch the Epic Max LS. We'll do the LST and the TSI-3. That, is that felt good. Spanked. If that spin stays down, that's pretty far. And straight. That's a bomb too. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. All right, so Thomas, that's Ping G425 LST. Um, just give me your feedback again on kind of how that club head looks compared to the other two. So looking down at it, it does look kind of like a similar shape to the PXG. Maybe a little bit larger profile than the PXG. Maybe a little more weight kind of pushed back this way, yeah. but pretty similar looking down at it. They both obviously got their matte finish to them. Um, the Epic Max LS does look a little shinier looking down at. There's obviously it's got that doesn't have the matte finish like the the other two models do. Yeah. Um, this is, sounds a little louder. I For feel sure. like the last two shots that I hit, I smoked. I definitely you did. feel like I hit it pretty good. You did. I mean that this thing was. I mean again the the low spin of these clubs, even when you kind of really get after one and and you kind of, I mean, there was a couple there where you thought, well, if that spin stays down, it'll be really good. And it was, the most spin you had with that club was 22, 25. Okay. So, and I know that's right in the range of where you're able to maximize your distance is kind of that low 2000s or maybe even just under 2000. So, and that's, that's the money range where all of these drives fell. So kudos to G425 LST there. Um, so right now that stacks up, it's kind of in the middle between Epic Max and the 0811 X Proto where distance wise it's six yards further than the pxg three yards shorter than epic max and kind of and then total distance for one yard a difference between epic max ls and g425 lst okay. so uh, but club speed you're right in the 111 range for all three of them you're kind of hovering just right around 164 165 ball speed for all of them as well so it's just that spin is staying down just a little bit more with Epic Max LS and G425 LST. So far. I felt like with the LST, and I've said this about ping drivers in the past, it felt like the head just felt just a little bit heavier. And I feel like I did had to, had to swing just a little bit faster to really try and get me closer to that yeah. uh, Epic Max LS speed. Um, I think I was about half a mile an hour slower. Yeah. I think Close. we could see. Close Seven tenths of a mile an hour. Seven so tenths of a mile an hour. Um, but even still, there's that. You're talking about two or three yards of distance. That's probably it right there. They're, yeah. they're pretty comfortable, honestly. Um, seeing more and more shots and testing more and more in comparison to dispersion would really kind of be the decision maker between those two. Yeah, like very yeah. similar. I think the Epic Max LS was just spinning just a little bit less overall yeah. with a little higher bull flight. Yep, and then it was the dispersion that is a little bit straighter too. So right now, just on this test and the way you're swinging, um, actually your gamer is, is right now based on this sample is, is the best one. But we'll, we got one more left here, Titleist TSI-3. Perfect. That looks really good. Oh, he went after that one. All right, so Thomas, you got the Titleist TSI-3. We've now hit a total of 20 shots, five with each driver here. I've got the map up, I've got the numbers up. First of all, I just want to get your, kind of your takeaways on just the look and feel of all four drivers before we dive into the numbers. I think visually, the best looking driver is the TSI-3. I just, I like that pear-shaped look to it, that rounded look to it, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, the TSI-3, it's a little shinier, just kind of like the Epic Max LSs, yeah. compared to, say, the 0811X Proto yeah. and also the G425 LST driver. Yeah. Um, those matte finishes 
in the sun for sure it is kind of nice because it's not as not as shiny but still i do kind of like the look of the round finish okay. that's one thing i kind of so shape wise there. you like the tsi3 yeah. best just because um, it's more it's the most like compact shape of the four yeah it's it's just the most traditional i guess okay. i'm a traditional golfer okay yeah. okay yeah. interesting Looking well, down at. If you look at the numbers quick quick briefly here um all four drivers you average about 111 miles per hour club speed that big max ls was just a little bit faster at 111.9 um, highest ball speed was Ping G425 LST 165.3. Lowest spin was Epic Max LS 1971. Um, then it was G425 LST, followed by the PXG 0811X Proto, and then the TSI 3. Um, the carry distance, everything was between 286 and 295. Um, G425 LST and TSI 3 were basically the same at 292. Epic Max LS was the farthest at 295.5, and then the 0811X Proto was uh, 286.6. Total distance, Epic Max LS again, barely the furthest in total, 317, followed by G425 LST at 316, TSI 3, 312, and the 0811X Proto, 308.6. So, and you, we can talk about those numbers, we can look at the map. For In this test, in particular, Epic Max LS, which is your gamer, is probably the winner, slightly the furthest, and also its dispersion circle is just ever so slightly smaller than all the rest. Yeah, and keep in mind also the uh, the Ping LST driver, I wasn't quite swinging as fast, but you did say it did get the highest ball speed yeah. there too. So efficiency wise is gonna be slightly more efficient with the LST for sure. Yep, yep, you got more efficiency there. And uh, so you had a couple with the G425 LST that were a little bit left. Otherwise, that dispersion circle is pretty good, but then the, the two best dispersion circles I see, Epic Max LS and then the TSI 3 was also very consistent as well. And uh, I should also mention those carry distances are very consistent across the board with all, well, most drivers here. I think, the, I mean, we're, we're kind of nitpicking here about the PXG 0811X Proto, but just not as consistent with the carry distance as the other three models. Yeah, I think like the, the Callaway Epic Max LS it seemed like it was flying a little higher, but the spin rate was staying down. If you yeah. get that high launch, low spin, mm -hmm. you are going to pick up those extra couple yards, essentially. And the fact that it was lower spin, and also for me, it seemed like it was flying the highest and also the straightest. Yeah. It was, yeah, it, it was pretty good. Yeah, because you were getting, I mean, like you said, TSI 3, Epic Max LS, both also the highest flying. So if you get that low spinner in there too, it's really going to take off for you. Yep. And you're going to get, see some real differences out on the golf course. So. Um, and then again, you were just, I mean, a lot of those shots were kind of dead straight. You had a little bit of fade on a couple, a little bit of draw, but you, a lot of the ball flights were straight. You had two drivers that were on average a left curve, two, two drivers that were on average a right curve. Um, but I mean, this was a good test because your stock shot today was mostly just straight. And so we got to kind of see the biases a little bit, see how things perform. Um, straight is good. Straight is, is straight what is you always look for. Good. I mean, of these tee shots, I'm looking at this map and of the 20, you got it for sure 17 in the fairway you got a couple out to the left that might not be in the fairway but i mean we're, we're you're hitting the ball really well all through all four of these drivers are good performers it just depends on if you're really chasing that distance you know epic max ls and this test was a little bit lower spinning which allowed for more distance and then that dispersion circle again i like you that question you always like to pose people right is which circle do you like the best on the map and so you kind of to me it's tsi3 and epic max ls followed by G425 LST. Yeah, so these are the low spinning spinning drivers that we've been fitting a lot of here in 2021. Um, keep in mind, I would also throw in TaylorMade Sim 2 driver in the mix there too. With COVID, the lead time on custom orders has been a little bit longer. Um, so that's why, you know, these are the ones that have been maybe a little bit faster at getting to their consumers a little bit there too. Um, but Sim yeah. 2 would also be another one you'd definitely throw oh, in the mix yeah. as, a, as a low spinner to it. Too. Oh yeah, and then there's, you know, the, you, know, you can put Rad Speed in there, you could put Mizuno STZ in there, you could put a bunch of different other ones in there. But um, the these are kind of the really popular ones that are really performing well in fittings. Um, and then we kind of threw PXG in there, uh, the 0811X Proto. Just, you know, we had a lot of comments asking for PXG comparisons. So, um, but this is this is what we got. This is the, the 20 shots we hit, this is the data, and this is what it shows us. So. Uh, I mean, it's got to be relieving for you knowing Epic Max LS is in your bag, and for you, it performs the best. Yeah, I mean, they're they're all very good, and we're yeah, talking and within kind of a couple yards. So, these are we're but, nitpicking, yeah. but yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I've been happy with the driver so far. I've really noticed when I've been playing on the course, it's been limited, probably about three or four rounds yeah. right now so far this year, but my miss hits have gone fairly straight, and that's been really important for me. Last couple of years, my miss hits have gone a long way offline. Yeah. So the forgiveness is definitely important, especially in a low spinning driver For even, because sure. 
if you have too little low spin, it's hard to control. For sure, for sure. Well, golfers that see this video and are maybe a faster swinging player or maybe want a low spin driver head, four great options here uh, that you can find at secondswing.com or through a fitting uh, in any one of our Second Swing store locations. So, Thomas, thank you for joining, hitting some tee shots today. Um, great information here. Yep, great, great low spinning drivers come in and get fit for one. <laughs>